This video has been made possible by RSH eSport Company. Check more about it in the description below. What's up guys, it's me Janne here back again for another video and in today's video I will be doing maybe a bit of a weird challenge. A while back I was reading an article about weird and bizarre steering wheels that have existed and while others were bizarre mainly on, on the like design front, there was this one thing called Teletouch in Ford Edsel's in 1950s which was quite interesting in my opinion. It had the gears on the wheel and uh, I, I don't mean like something like a paddle shift or something but like actual buttons for the different gears. Although it was an automatic car where this technology was used I thought that what about if I tried to drive a rally car while having uh, gears mapped to these different buttons of the rims. For example, I'll have first gear here, second gear here, third here, fourth here, fifth and sixth. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try to drive a rally stage with, uh, with uh, this sort of gearing. But before that, I will drive it like the more traditional way to set a bit of a benchmark time and uh, obviously I will be using clutch for this because it's I don't know just feels more unnatural and therefore more challenging and I'm always up for a challenge but uh, without further ado let's hop on to the start line to do our reference run Alright, here we are at Gestapo Strofen with the favorite 136 Volumen. for our reference Gox. run. And uh, the reason why I picked this car is because it's a naturally aspirated, naturally aspirated six-speed gearbox car. So uh, hopefully I'll need to change gears as much as possible during this run. And uh, and the reason why I chose this stage is because, uh, well, yeah, I know the stage quite well now, given that I have cut the shit out of it for maximum event Mondays. But also because there's quite a few, I mean, it has a nice flow. And uh, there's quite a few places where you need to like downshift quite a bit. So uh, it's going to be more of a challenge for me. And that's probably better for content. And uh, also, also this car uh, has a 900 degree steering which will also make it more difficult for me, especially in the corners, to change the gears. So uh, it's, it's going to be interesting to say the least. And uh, my point is not to try to get like an absolute maximum like Monday's run on this, this run, but just to get more of a somewhere in the ballpark type of run to see like roughly how much we lose with the uh, with uh, steering wheel buttons acting as our specific gears and uh, yeah as this is a low powered uh, a low powered naturally aspirated cards very crucial that the revs are always high because that's where the top power is and we are inching towards the finish of the stage final corner and then we have our reference time and that is 2.43.2 3.11. Now let's hop on back to the start line with the buttons acting as our gearbox and try again. Alrighty then, now we are trying to drive with the steering wheel button gears. Off the line we go. 
And uh, yeah, clutch is forced. And uh, so far so good. Yeah, I'll try to upshift with like... Oh sorry, downshift. With like just one gear at a time. As would be reasonable. Like uh, realistic with the... With the normal gearbox as well. And the time to beat is indeed the 243. Uh, that is visible on the screen as well. Oh no! We rolled. Ah, Apparently you can't shift the gear that you try to if you miss shift, so it's it, it's like playing on hard mode this one. But we definitely need to have a have another go with this to get at least one clean run. Oh, I'm, I'm not getting gears. It's weird how it's not working like fully. All that if you mischift, it's mischift like for you. But yeah, I don't think this was fully that what the shift that plugin was intended for, so I can't really blame it. Interesting. Now we need to call for help. Like a little bit shyer. And uh, off we go again. It's annoying this gear not going in if you miss the shift. Thing. Like normally you could just pop it into neutral and then try again. But no such choice with this one. Oh yeah, we'll get almost like over a minute on this first one. But it did have one call for help, so I'll forgive myself a bit. I feel like I need to be more like careful with my uh, with my with my uh, clutch like being fully pressed. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. It seems. But uh, let's try one more time to get a clean run, okay? To be honest. I don't know why I made it sound like a negotiation, it's all up to me, so of course we're gonna have another run. But yeah, I got to be like extra conservative with the clutch to make sure that it is pressed enough to get a proper shift. Because it gets somehow stuck to shift the plugin. Oh, a bit of rallying there. Small slide, even. But yeah, it takes a lot of like processing to press the right button. And I, I think that with like more practice, I could get like quite natural with it and maybe even fast as well. But, but for now it's... It's not really going that well yet. Can't imagine being competitive. Especially with something fast. This is still quite manageable because the car is quite telic. Sorry, I'm slow for those who are not 
in all Matti Janne Gord. Oikein täys, 180. Tarru, nyppy, 30, oikein 2, 80. Oh, I shifted to third. I was meant to shift to fifth. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's very easy to like get mistaken on the gears, especially in a rush. If you don't have time to like position your fingers, like in all all the time you need. But I, I feel like I'm getting better at it already. But it's very weird, no idea. I mean, it's, it feels like it's a completely different thing for my feet as well. I don't know why, but I'm struggling quite immensely. Oh shit, that must be it. Quite immensely with the, with the feet work, no idea how to like heal and toe or anything. Because it's so different and definitely not in the muscle memory. Unlike that, uh, okay, unlike here and towing. Give him a scandy flick there. And our time is 250.06. I mean, it's not too bad, considering that this is all very new to me. So uh, I'm, I'm happy with this. And there we have it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. It was quite difficult especially since uh, I'm filming this on a Wednesday I've just had two night shifts from Monday to Tuesday and from Tuesday to Wednesday and I've slept uh, altogether six hours in the last two nights so um, it's it's quite difficult for me to even drive properly like normally let alone with all this black magic fuckery going on in here on the steering wheel but uh, I think I managed quite well in the end considering that this is all very new to me and never have done it before but uh, yeah that has been today's video if you have any other weird challenges for me to die for me to try let me know in the comments below and uh, I'll see you again on next Monday with another episode of Maximum Attack Mondays. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you then again. Bye.